Aaron, two phones that I had and borrowed, which were from my parents. One is the iPhone 6S, and the other one's the iPhone 7 Plus. So today I'll be comparing uh, these phones to you guys. And these phones are my parents. So this phone, apparently, which is the iPhone uh, 6S, um, this is actually my dad's office phone. So eventually what I was going to say is that one time I wanted to compare with the with many like um, brands that here that like iPhone brand. However, since I actually do have the time to compare, let's start the comparison right now. So firstly for the iPhone 6S Plus 6S, you could see right here that there's some kind of like uh, the headphone jack right here. And that's the charging port, sorry. And these ones are the home buttons. So basically for this one, they actually do have like the side buttons and this one is the uh, button. This one's the off button. So unfortunately for this phone, what I was really going to say is that there was actually a headphone jack somewhere. But unfortunately for that, I couldn't find the headphone um, jack, you know, like the headphone jack. So what I was going to say is that this iPhone 6s Plus does not um, have like the headphone jack right here. You could just see there's like a charging port right here. Sorry if the phone's a little cracked. My father accidentally cracked it. So eventually what I was really going to say oh, sorry, is that mm, as we go into these kinds of phones, hold on, I don't want to make sure the password is right. So eventually, got this phone out. And I also got this one. Now, when you, when you compare two phones right here, one phone is smaller than the other. So you can see right here that mm, there are lots of apps right here, and you can see the My Maxis right here. Other ones are the DG. So this phone which is the iPhone 6 with S, which my dad is using, actually has 64 gigabytes. And let me tell you guys this straight. This iPhone 6S, along with the 6S Plus, was released on September 25th, 2015. While the iPhone 7 was actually released on in 2016, along with the Plus. So eventually, this iPhone 7 apparently is water resistant, but if you go through a lot, a lot of miles down there, you could probably see that the phone is um, definitely um, spoiled if you put it down here, right here. Well, this iPhone definitely is uh, not water resistant. Because of this, this old phone is not water resistant. So let me you guys show you about the live pictures. So live, live photos only appear in the iPhone 6s plus or later so eventually what I was gonna say is that I'm gonna show you this example right so apparently um this phone apparently does work with the with the live uh, streaming once you press right here there's actually um a 3d touch which is available from the iPhone 6s Plus, but if you have a new phone right here, um, it's not available anymore. And unfortunately, what I was really going to say is that some phones don't have the power for the 3D uh, touch, as I could say. So for the iPhone 7 Plus, this phone is bigger. So apparently, what I recommend to you guys is try not to get um, Pro Max or Max because the phone is very expensive and eventually what I was really going to say is that uh, this iPhone 7 was actually in stores until it was discontinued so both phones are discontinued now but you can still get it in the Apple store I think I'm not really that sure but you have to contact your authorized um, Apple dealer because some phones are not available right here say for instance if it's this iPhone 6s plus or iPhone 6 like that um sometimes you need to request a case because sometimes for that one you don't the the box for um these phones don't have um, an apple case 
So it's important to like um, contact your local dealer. So apparently, for this iPhone, I found the headphone jack right here. Basically, on old phones, they don't do that. Um, they do that because um, these phones are like thinner. Once you see the iPhone um, 7 Plus, so eventually what I was really going to say is it's still the same right here, except when you have like this um, AirPod uh, charging pack. So basically, um, the features are still the same right here. The 3D touch is still the same. So next up, what I'm really going to do is to test these ones on the iPhone 7 Plus. So eventually, what I was really going to say is that once again, I am going to test these ones out. Let's start with this one first. And the iPhone 7 does work with the light, actually. So eventually for iPhone 7, it's definitely a water resistant, but unlike the iPhone 12, which I was going to get next year for my birthday if I passed all my exams, since, since that one uh, may be a challenge for me, I'm not really that sure if I can really um, handle it, you know, like... I mean, like, I really can handle it, you know? So eventually, what I was really gonna say is that, yes, these phones apparently do... apparently work. It's because of the live screen screening and apparently what I was really going to say is that yes, both of those phones work with uh, 3D touch and uh, light and light photos even though some phones don't have the power to do this and I know the charging port is still the same right here, sorry now the charging port right here is the same but when you have a new phone right here the size will change, you know the size will change, starting from iPhone 8 some sizes will change. iPhone 10, the size XR or X. X actually stands for 10. Don't forget, guys. X stands for 10. So, when you see X right here, X is actually a Roman numeral of 10. So, what I was really going to say this is not many phones do work for um, the devices such as a jackpot, um, like, an, like the jackpot. So for iPhone um, 11 or later, um, these phones apparently don't have the home screen button. Unlike the iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 6S, they do have the home screen button right here. But for iPhone X and above, they don't really have the home screen button. And the phone will apparently do change. They, they will change. Sorry, um, they will change. So what I was really going to say is that yes, these phones right here, definitely do have battery life so for the iphone 7 this is capable of charging um up to two hours while the phone right here charges up two hours as well now what i was gonna say is that these phones don't look as bad as usual but i definitely do suggest if you want to change the phone to, to like iphone um 11 or later because the the phones are discontinued now, including the iPhone X and later. So eventually, um, these phones right here, starting from the old generation iPhone to iPhone XR, these phones are discontinued, especially the Pro and the Pro Max. So for iPhones like this, they discontinue the phones. It's because the phones are not popular. Even though the phone can still be used, I suggest you guys buy a new phone. Like example, the iPhone 12, iPhone 13, or iPhone 11. These are the best phones, but definitely XR did have a problem with these phones. Now, are there any problems with these two phones? Um, in my opinion, no, there, there, are, not, there are not many problems with the phones. It's because um, these phones were bought in both of them in 2016 well this phone was bought in 2017 so what i was really gonna say is that the iphone 6s or 6s plus isn't expensive as usual but when you compare it to the iphone uh, 7 
or 7 plus that phone was actually really expensive and what I was really going to say about this phone, the phones is that one of them are not water resistant because when you put it into the water if you put this one into the water um, apparently for old phones you can put it in like rice to soak up the moisture but for new phones I suggest not to do that it may spoil it so what I was about to say is that these phones apparently do have a gigabyte storage so these two phones apparently do have a 32 gigabyte, 62 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, and 128 gigabyte. Now what I suggest is that if you guys think 34 and 64 gigabytes is not enough for your phone storage, I suggest you guys buy 128 or 256 gigabyte. This phone is 128 gigabyte. As I saw, it's the same thing as my iPad, which I'm currently recording now. So eventually, what I was really going to say about these phones is this phone actually measures up to 6 point, to 6, to 6, to 4.5, while this phone actually measures to 6.1. So the sizes right here are, the, are not the same. And the home button is the same, but one of them is like uh, cracked. The, the screen protector is cracked easily. And apparently, guys, I don't want anyone of you to try these phones and try um do drop tests at home. Your phones can break easily, and sometimes um, I saw many YouTubers doing that. They want to do it for publicity, but in my case, um, please do not do that. Please don't try to do this with your parents' phone because um, this thing will happen. And unfortunately, the price is going to cost very, very expensive when it comes to phones like this. Now, what I was saying is that these phones definitely do have a Siri-related function. Now, I will apparently press the home button and just try to do this. Hey Siri, hi. Hi, I'm Siri. Unfortunately for this phone, it won't work is because, um, I'm not really that sure what happened, but uh, someone, I think my mom apparently um, disabled the Siri, so I'm not really that sure what happened, but definitely it's like, um, that, you know. <laughs> now, for the overall, overall final thoughts on these phones, uh, these phones are actually in good quality in my opinion, and these phones apparently do like say battery life but once you get into the game it's probably because um you want to play with games or go to social media um that one will actually do affect um battery life so apparently guys um what i was really gonna say is the battery isn't that strong even though the battery like hasn't well wasn't well yet for the iphone 5 see as i said in my previous video apparently the battery life won't won't last that long is because the battery can't even handle it and that phone was actually an eight-year-old phone so this one is a five-year-old phone the other one's a four-year-old phone so eventually guys what I was gonna say is that overall these phones are good but if you want to switch to a new phone say for instance like iPhone 11 or later I suggest you guys do but if you guys think that the Pro Max and uh pro are very expensive i suggest you get the iphone uh, mini on these on these phones if you're buying an 11 12 or 13. so guys that's all i really need to say for now about um comparing the iphone 6s plus to the iphone 7 plus so eventually guys i'll make some more par uh, comparisons on the phones even if i have the iphone 12 even if i pass all my exams I will still get it for my birthday, apparently, because that was my wish. So eventually, what I was going to say is this iPhone 12 is apparently my birthday and Christmas present, as announced on my Twitter page. And if you guys have a Twitter account, I suggest you check it out to see, to see what I post every time. But anyways, guys, that's all I really need to say for now. And apparently, guys, this one will be the last comparison video of 2021 and the iphone um 6s plus 
would be the last video of 2021. But even though I failed my exam, I am apparently going to study again. I'm going to study really hard to get good grades. And if I pass this exam, like all four exams, then I'm able to get the iPhone 12 and compare it with my old phone. Because this one will be the last video of 2021. But in 2022, um, things will be a little different for me because I will be comparing the iPhone um, 12 to the iPhone 6 as well, even though it's still working. But what I was really going to say this to you guys is that these videos apparently do take me a lot of time when it comes to comparison of a device such as Apple, Samsung, Windows, or even uh, the Windows or even MacBook steps. Sometimes I have like my free time to compare these phones. Sometimes I won't. It definitely does depend on my schedule, you know. And unfortunately for that, maybe I'll have some more time when it comes to comparing the phones. But anyways, guys, that's all I really, really need to say for now. And this is me, Huilin the Tomboy Gamer, signing off.